Okay, dash cam confessional time. Today we are talking about Chad's life lesson number three, I believe we're at now. This is episode three. Um, a shout out to Vanessa Gardner. This was as per her request and it's a good one. Today's life lesson was make sure you save some money up before you go to school. And I'm speaking specifically to the trade students. You guys get 10 weeks of school, you're making money all year round, and then you get to school and you're all excited because you know what, EI pays for some of it. But the problem with that is that EI only pays for some of it. The second problem with that is that EI takes for freaking ever to kick in. And it's super annoying. And if you're gonna be anything like me, and I know a lot of you are because I see this through my students all the time, you end up having to wait because EI makes a mistake and then you end up not getting your checks until, or getting paid, I guess. Back in my day, you actually got checks mailed to you. It shows how old I am. But you didn't get paid till the end. And so every single year, my first year, second year, third year, and fourth year of trade school, EI got screwed up somehow, whether it was a uh, ROE not getting sent in or them just losing my information. So what ended up happening was I would never get my checks, which meant that I would have to live on my visa for the whole time, which sucked. As much as this traffic sucks getting out of here, holy. So that sucked, trying to live off a of visa when you don't have much. And it, there was me going to trade school and my wife was going to university at the time and there wasn't much to give. So had I just paid attention to my own rule here and saved a little bit of money, there would have been a bit of a cushion. It doesn't have to be much. You could easily save a hundred bucks a month. And that, you know, for the year you're going, you're gonna be working for 10 months, that's a thousand bucks. It doesn't sound like a lot, but at least it's something. I'm gonna go this way now. It's something and it provides a bit of a cushion. So you don't have to end up eating ramen noodles. So, a couple classes ago, and I think you know who I'm going to talk about here, Alex, is uh, we had a guy who wasn't getting his checks and was literally living off of like craft dinner and noodles and then would get a check and be so excited about it, he'd go blow it all on octopus, which uh, we all got to taste through the smell of his you know what afterwards I guess octopus doesn't sit well in his GI system so we all get to suffer because of his splurging so don't be that guy Alex and you should be all right now save some money doesn't have to be much heck even 50 bucks a month will save you something but come on guys you can save 100 bucks a month you guys are all making decent money you might as well save a little bit of money on the side for school spend your money when you become journeyman or when you're done school all right on that note I'm going to sign off now, and we're gonna call this life lesson complete. Traffic is absolutely ballistically crazy. It was spring break last week, and I didn't expect it to be that busy going back, because I this is my first time teaching out at this high school. I'm just gonna zip away here. Um, so I didn't expect it to be too crazy. Well, it is absolutely freaking nuts. So I'm gonna be doing something else. I'm gonna try a back route here. So remember, save some money. Now I know it might seem a little scattered only because the traffic is crazy, the weather's bad, and I need to pay attention to the road. So I will say goodbye to you guys now, and I will see you tomorrow for hashtag Chad's Life Lessons Dash Cam Confessionals.